So I felt lost. I felt that um, I needed help. I felt that there are a lot of inner struggle within me, trying to juggle between what society wants and what people want from me, uh, what people expected of me and what I can do and what I want for myself. That's always juggling between this balance and that's why I felt that I'm, I'm stuck. So I've, I've tried different ways online, trying to read and trying to search for help, trying to look for, watch, listen to many, many guides, guidance and videos. And what happened is that I found out about Akashic readings and also ancestral healing. So I was always looking for ancestral healing, but then I found out about Akashic record readings and it just blew my mind away and that there's such thing. Akashic readings is more like um, it's like a virtual library which is like iCloud that, that recorded all our thoughts from the past life to current and current and also a bit of future. So Akashic readings is more like access towards this record, access the record and download it and find out why why we why we're stuck in this area and what happened during the past life and how can we move on you know like and also you kind of get to know more about your purpose so you can get more to know more about your relationship with this person and what's your learning lesson with this person and that's kind of like oh i need to know this so that's why um i've booked a session with Klama. Uh, who is a multi-dimensional healer Plus point and so I went for this Akashi reading and it's What I can say is Though although I did list out a lot of questions that I, I want to ask like What's my life purpose, but what happened is that have been Kalama has been asking me a lot of questions and he understand and we kind of we kind of like Singed and he kind of felt what I felt and so he has been doing a lot of healing work on me and I felt that It's lifted up with the help of spirit guides and angels and I felt like oh, I'm definitely lighter. I'm definitely closer to my higher self and that I definitely and I definitely learned how to love and accept myself that's the plus point. So I was talking about self-love and self-acceptance and that's what Kalama says and he kind of reminded me that yes because I thought that when I have this awareness so I've been practicing um, Vipassana meditation daily and I sort of have the awareness when there's, there's negative thoughts or negative environment and I'm also an empath um, so when I'm sensitive to all this and um, energies and I felt like, oh, it's starting to attack me. I sort of thought that I'm aware of that and I do not do anything about that. So one thing really good that I practice after the session is actually that I realize of this kind of self negative thoughts, then I do something about it. I kind of rewire my brain to laugh and accept myself. Um, I'm gonna tell more about that. I'm gonna share more about that. It's about tapping It's called tapping. So it's like tapping a certain acupressure point acupressure point and it kind of like rewires your self negative self-talk to self-love and self-acceptance so that's the main point and that's um, true keep on practicing uh, this thing um, especially for empath, I think for us, it's really hard to express our own needs and to really focus on our own needs and because we have, tried, we have been trying to accommodate to everybody and right now, it's more about honouring our feelings and it's just express it out, you know? I know that we all have choice. Um, and then for ancestral healing, ancestral healing is much more like towards our family ancestral lineage 
Um, it's about healing, honor what our ancestor has done, had felt, have gone through their experiences because it's proof that our DNA, DNA are passed through generations. So whenever there are traumatic experience, we are also inherited with it. So I realized that my family actually had this certain pattern that we are repeating such cycles. So I felt like it's been years and I felt like it's time for a stop and I need to do something about it because I'm aware of it. So I need to do something and not just experiencing the same thing again and again in any kind of terms, financial, relationship, communication, um, things that we're facing with emotions. Yeah, so I went on with uh, Kalama as well, Ancestral Healing and Enhanced Heart Century with a um, few other women. We're doing it in a group session. So what happened, it's really amazing because um, we, were, we were focusing on forgiving, honoring our seven back to seven generations of ancestors and we start to honor what they are what they have experienced and we accept we forgive we sort of healing it's it's a healing process for every lineage and including our grandparents and also our parents so that's what i think it's the best thing i can do for the family and also realizing i felt felt this emotion but not taking it, it in but it's just like yeah it's fine and it's honor that what have been through through those hard days and you know just it's like letting the energy go <laughs> something for me that helps me is um i felt i definitely felt lighter in terms of my own emotions um, slowly detaching myself from the such emotional energies and I'm ready to create my own pathway you know instead of what my family has been doing and what I've been looking out because there's someone over there okay so yeah um, what has helped me a lot I think it really helps in terms of depending on own situations, but it helped me in terms of forgiving and moving on. You know, that's what that's what we have always been looking for. How to move on to a better life and how to become your best version. Yeah. So that's my sharing about um, Akashi readings and also ancestral healing and I'm very thankful to have um, Heart Century and also Kia, Kilama, Kilama, who actually supported um, and offered 50% scholarships. Um, it helps a lot. Yahoo! Um, I hope you have your own great experience and um, I would love to know more about your experience because I felt like we, this beautiful life that like beautiful world that we are living right now the beauty it falls at the diversity of what we are experiencing right now so it's just everything everyone might have different opinion or about such experience so i deem that um it would be good for you to share your experience as well because i've been looking for um people who have experienced it i've been looking for the review and i think that it would this might help you in terms of deciding whether you want to go move on or yeah thank you for being here bye hi 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 oh